Hey you folks, Chloe Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld, and welcome to the sad, sad remnants of Uris Town. So people have given a lot of really good feedback for how to deal with these mechanoids in the future. I knew they were tough, but I mean, obviously I'd misunderestimate, misunderestimated, what am I, George Bush? Um, the difficulty of dealing with those effers. Um, so next time, a little bit more prepared, we'll actually try some turrets, those EMPs. I, I still, I've, just, I've never played with one yet. Still new at this game, of course. I'm trying to remember, this isn't like uh, Civ and EU4 where I've got hundreds of hours and still make tons of mistakes. So, I actually don't remember Ella. I'm like, alright, we've got one person and I load up the game here. I'm like, I have a second person? Ella, a surgeon? There we go. I've gone ahead and messed around with the uh, priorities a little bit. We're going to uh, get Ella to work hard on hauling and cleaning. A lot of people have said that uh, right from the beginning I should have prioritized a lot more hauling uh, and certainly probably a little bit of cleaning, comparing, considering how much of a negative debuff everyone has right now for um, dirty environments. We're going to do that. Swallow, of course, cannot haul or clean, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have Swallow focus on uh, constructing the new wall and the new turrets that I want, making sure that uh, the growing continues, and then other than that, having some uh, repair uh, going on after the fact. So <clears throat> Ella's probably going to yeah, mostly be carting. Oh, no, she's equipping a weapon. Which is a pretty good idea, I think. Other than that, she's going to be hauling things all day long. Plenty of dead bodies to haul. Hopefully not just those. Eating a little bit, that's fine. We've got plenty of meals. We've got tons of medicine, which is okay. Ella, are you... you don't have any armor or anything on. Why don't you go and wear this armored vest? And you don't have any hat. It's just a toque. We probably have a military helmet somewhere, but for now, that's going to be good enough. There we go, and she's hauling bodies away, which is very good. We still would like this area cut down just for speed of movement at some point. <clears throat> but this uh, stockpile is out of the way that we should not be... Are you kidding me? Oh, no! Are you kidding me? <clears throat> we can't have two seconds of rest. All the turrets are currently turned off. I can turn them on. Apparently there's a new update that's going to be coming soon where you can't just instantly turn things on. When you give the command, a uh, colonist actually has to come over and toggle things, which is definitely going to change things. Uh, lots of power in the bank. It is actually the daytime, but our, more importantly, our geothermal is still up and operating. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the guns on now so it's ready. Other than that, um, I'm hoping they come in here, actually, and I think they will, which is going to be really convenient because that's where more of my guns are. It's possible because of pathfinding they might decide to go to the south which would be slightly more annoying because I don't have quite as many guns down here and, you know, missing an entire wall, but otherwise we're going to be okay. I'm mostly just going to keep babysitting these guys, make sure they don't happen to wander into a bad, bad spot. In fact, I think Ella will right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just recruit her and have her stand. Um, actually, I'm going to just have her hide inside. Um, over here. Or, you know what? Instead of recruiting her, I could just tell her to prioritize something. Like, um... Why don't you go and prioritize cleaning some of these rocks? Okay. Guns are up and running. Okay, they're actually going to split up, which is going to do pretty well for me, because it's actually going to split up our gun um, emphasis. We've already killed one person right off the bat. Must have been a lucky headshot. There's some more headshots going on. And they might explode this turret, but um, other than that, it should be okay. Luckily, tribes people are pretty weak. This explosion is going to be beautiful. Bam! Worst thing that happened there is it destroyed some extra meals that we had kicking around. And that's a little sad making, but other than that, we are in pretty darn good shape. One of the things I'm thinking of doing is moving my stockpile and my beacon to somewhere over here. Maybe even dismantle some of these. Well, I don't think we need to dismantle any of the solar panels, but I don't have to rebuild any. Um, I think that'll be a better storage area with sort of more sane spacing. Also, it'll help that it's a little bit closer to the main point of entry, where we're often going to be picking people up. And we have a digger that we can capture. Let's go ahead and capture the digger. Oh, there's another one, too. Swallow, I know you're sleeping, but why don't you go and capture giraffe? They should each get their room. They're pretty messy room, and they've got a bunch of crap in there, which is going to throw things off. Actually, I don't want this bed to be a prisoner bed uh, because of the butchering. Um, they eat all the raw meat, and then they get negative debuffs, and it's very annoying. All right, uh, the other thing that people have pointed out is check to see if anyone's got a head wound, because if they do, they're going to be a lot weaker. I don't know what missing a thumb is going to result in. I mean, not having an opposable thumb is pretty bad. This guy here, threaded, cracked, and there, that's 98%. Well, I don't think we're going to try to recruit you. 72 isn't so bad. What kind of stats are you looking at here? Uh, you can do everything except social. You're quite good at melee. 
you're a bit lazy, which reduces your warp speed, which kind of sucks. But you're actually not terrible. I think you, we're going to have friendly chats and um, eventually we'll start to try to recruit you. We probably need to increase the uh, priority of wardening, actually. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, maybe that's overkill. I don't know. Toxos we don't need. In fact, um, I wonder. Right arm shredded? Shredded sounds pretty bad. It's not just gunshot. That's shredded. You know what? I'm willing to bet. You don't get food. Critical alert mental break soon on Ella. Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting some body parts. But if I do that, <clears throat> she's going to get that much more pissy. Um, negative debuffs are bad. I can't release them because he's sick. Tell you what, we'll keep them technically alive and then we'll release him once he's conscious. Once they start, once he starts wandering around, we'll just release him. Or maybe we'll get really lucky and a slave ship will come in time. Seems unlikely, but there you go. How are your thoughts? Mood is improving. You're... Are you naked? Oh, you have no pants on, but don't the... Doesn't this count as pants? Nope. Thought it did. Alright. Got a parka tribal wear. Can I not get info on it from here? How do I get info on one of these? I guess I gotta find some tribal wear that's kicking around. Covers. Torso, neck, left leg, right. Right what? Okay, you... Ah, oh, okay. So, the tribal wear is like a full body garment. All right. Uh, of course, we can probably strip down some of these new people and take care of that. I'm going to let things fast forward for now. They're, I'm going to get them to babysit this before we start stripping everyone down. Oh, I can turn off my guns. Swallow is out transferring the sick person, which is okay. Yeah, that way we don't have to worry about the raw meat situation here. Probably want to clean up those rooms soon. So Ella, okay. <clears throat> Draft is the one I think I could possibly recruit. It's fine. You're going to feed a meal to someone. Before you do that, you go ahead and strip a few more of these. Now, I don't suspect they're going to have any pants, actually. But by stripping them, it also is a shortcut to unforbidding them. Strip everyone down. That way, when she has a moment, she can start burying people. We're going to unforbid some meals, unforbid some weapons. Oop, more stuff over here. Survival meal. Someone died. Oh, they were probably running away and they got shot long distance. All right, fair enough. Okay. Lots of meal, a little bit of treatment. <clears throat> and yeah, I think I'm just going to be lazy and release Toxos. I don't know if that'll give a positive debuff or anything, but if they don't die, then that avoids the chance of getting one negative debuff on our part. And yeah, draft could actually be useful. <clears throat> we turn on medicine? A giraffe? Might have been a great idea to do that first, of course. I think so. You know what? You're gonna start getting medicine. I mean, it's too late <clears throat> for the initial set of medicine, but that's all right. Um, giraffe has an infection, yeah. <clears throat> now, some people are saying to get the proper treatment, you got to turn it into a medical bed. Oh, okay. People will get treatment sort of kind of regardless, at least on the first step, but at this point, I think with the medical bed, it encourages them to sleep. So Toxos, congratulations, buddy. You are going to be released. I have no idea what this is going to result in. <clears throat> Maybe I should turn on the guns beforehand, just in case. In case you decide to aggro. But yeah, you're going to be released, bud. As soon as someone gets to you. Um, Where are you going? You're eating me away out there. Okay, yeah, we still need stuff to be hauled. There. Get out. Leave. Okay. Well, that happened. Toxos has an infection. Well, I don't care about Toxos. Toxos is fucking off. Did we run out of power? Oh, the other thing people have pointed out is I've got sun lamps operating in here, and they suck a lot of power, and there's no reason to have them on whatsoever. So by doing that, hopefully we'll get a little bit more juice. Keep the lights on, anyway. 
So how are your thoughts? You got the spacious interior. It is ugly. I will give you that. There's blood everywhere. A colony settler. Just one person over here. God, that would be tempting. Look at these skills. But we've already pissed off one of the other colonies. Uh, engineers, whatever. Engineers desert or dessert. Can't remember which one it is. We've already pissed them off, and we certainly don't want too many people aggro on us. We're already getting enough attacks. Hey, you're getting a little bit of medication. Deal with your infection, which will be treated. Oh, we got proper good quality there. 53% chance. Go, go. Um, the other thing... Okay, Swallow's got low priority on doctoring. So it should always be Ella, who's actually got a high priority job, that gets there first. Basically, Swallow's just got some doctoring right now, just in case Ella needs it. But frankly, I could turn it off because... With the priority queue the way they are, they'll never actually get there. So we've got a treated major infection, and you're just missing a thumb, which hopefully should be okay. We'll keep feeding you meals. Your mood's actually pretty okay. We've had some good talks. Uh, Ella, why don't you go and clean up some of this environment? I'm going to try to get rid of some of this bad environment here. Clean some dirt. And a little bit more. I mean, I don't want to just change her priority queue. Because I don't necessarily want to go on a, on a big cleaning binge everywhere. Just mostly get rid of the ugly environment. There we go. In in this one room. Mm -hmm. uh, some people had mentioned, if I recall correctly, that I should check my zoning to make sure the cave is all home zoned. And, and it is. I suppose I could uh, set all of this to home zone as well. Just technically. Maybe these borders here, there. Doesn't really particularly matter there. Um, do that as well, just because I want to make sure to find any forest fires that happen to spawn there. And I should de home zone this area over here because it's in the middle of nowhere. And we don't really care what happens there. As a uh, pretty big home region for the number of, um, of people I have around, but it'll hopefully be okay. What you doing, Ella? Yeah, mostly chatting with the prisoner. Who's hopefully going to be okay. Infection major... Oh, something just changed here. Some, some other trait just went away, but I don't remember what it was. But the immunity is progressing. Back to being untreated. Hopefully that will be tr considered treated again relatively soon. Uh, Ella, yeah, is going to use some more medicine on Giraffe. I think Giraffe is going to survive, and I suspect we should be able to... Uh, Oh, there's more stats over here? Not by Ella. Shooter, weapon. Got some sort of combat stat going on? I don't know if I'd ever noticed that, um, that tooltip before. It's actually quite handy. Alright, Ella's now digging or hauling dead bodies, which is good. You're eating some stuff and then resting, and presumably you've been repairing and constructing and doing all that jazz. A little bit more rest. Severe illness for giraffe extreme infection. Yeah, I should have turned on uh, the medicine maybe a little bit sooner. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm assuming... Ella, where, where, is, where is Ella? Oh, way over here. I'm assuming there's nothing you can do. No. There's, I can't prioritize any, any medicine. There's nothing that can be done to draft right now. Getting 90% on the infection. Um, immunity. Ooh, but the next tick is coming up soon. I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't know what's going to happen um, next treatment after. Like, I don't think you'll just instantly die, but I might be wrong. You will develop immunity right before the tick happens, I think. Um, but that doesn't actually cure the disease. So next treatment is going to kick tick now. What does that do? Are you going to die or are you going to live? You actually stood up. Really? I'm going to eat a meal. That's good. And, wait, what? Oh, you got brought out of the uh, the medical room. Well, that's interesting. That's very odd, but all right. Mood's relatively good. We've got a non-negative chance. Uh, who's got the best social skill? It's actually Swallow. Oh, I'll just turn off wardening for Ella. Make Swallow do the talking. I got like two people named after animals now. Giraffe? Swallow? Maybe it's Ella the Elephant? We've got a whole theme going on here, guys! Oh, God. We got our third person back. We'll be going again. It's still going to be a pretty goddamn small col colony, but, you know. Bit of a chat. 
Well, it has a better chance of doing it. Could happen. Although you're back in an ugly environment now. So that's probably... Very ugly environment, yeah. Hello. Clean some stuff. In fact, we should probably prioritize cleaning the blood. But I can't just tell her to prioritize cleaning in a in an area. I have to keep doing this. I mean, I guess I could um, prioritize cleaning above other things, but who knows what she'll clean? Just wanted to clean this room specifically. Although. Hold on. If I do do that, I make cleaning a rank one, and she finishes cleaning this bit. She'll keep cleaning things nearby. I'm gonna go eat a simple meal. Okay, that's fine. And then will you go back to cleaning? Yeah, okay. Because you're here, so you're gonna clean here. That's actually very, very, very convenient. In fact, maybe I should make cleaning the top priority above hauling. We've got an incredibly messy environment that is generating massive, massive debuffs. My colony. You know what? I am going to do that. If I look at Swallow, uh, only hungry, which isn't bad. But the rooms especially? Well, just cramped environment. That's not too bad. Maybe the cleaning is not quite as dire as I thought. And we know that hauling is pretty important. All right, I'm going to switch it back. I'm going to go hauling at a two, cleaning at a three. Doctoring still number one. And that's going to be fine. How you doing, Giraffe? Curious? No. Just select this person. Health. Ah, it's down to a minor infection. Okay, so it's almost completely gone. Um, you're no longer getting your sick thing. 10% chance only. Well, that's too bad. But the moodlet's pretty much as high as it's going to get. In fact, it kind of sucks that he's got... Uh, he, she, has got cabin fever now. She! We all girls? Female, female, female. Yeah, hopefully we don't get the psychic drone that hits us. Oh, the other thing people pointed out in the uh, comments is that um, I was concerned about the fact that the alien craft was giving a stacking and growing psychic drone debuff to the entire colony. As it turns out, um, that, that debuff doesn't increase as quickly as I was concerned about. I could have waited a fair bit longer for things to go. Um, you know what? I should cancel these blueprints. Um, and instead... We want some guns here. Here. Obviously the walls are good too. We're going to set up an EMP mortar. I have no idea what kind of range these things get. But I'll, I'll go ahead and set up an EMP mortar here. Maybe a conventional mortar here. We're going to experiment. I have no idea how they work. We're going to cross our fingers, though. Giraffe is not the easiest to recruit. I mean, 72 is not super easy. Moodlet's pretty good, though. Some of these will start to wear off, but the warden job is pretty consistent. It's, uh, it swallows, like, highest priority, I think. Yeah, priority one, um, which I'm happy with. We're going to really try to get Giraffe to come on our... Mm -hmm. And then go back to growing, which is fine. We don't have tons of raw food, although we still have some amount of money, which is nice. Oh, and yeah, the thing I'm going to do down here is orbital beacon and cover this entire area. So if I drop it here and then I'm, say, make this... Make this my stockpile. Ooh, if these things detonate... Um, elite zone. If these things detonate, they'll actually kill some of my stuff. To do something like that might be better. It's still not as big as I would like. Um, where's the uh, where's the beacon that I told to construct? There, cancel that. I gotta figure out. I want a big area for it. Uh, combat supplier. Um, okay. And Swallow has the highest social skill. So go ahead and talk to the combat supplier. We have uh, we have a total of 61 medicine, which is lots. So I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, I'm going to sell the old weapons like that and like that for some extra money. I'm not feeling the need to buy anything. I mean, more power armor would be good. But if anything, I'm going to use it to buy slaves. So I think I'm fine with just selling this stuff and not buying any more medicine. People pointed out at some point it's possible that something fell on a roof and I might not have access to it. I hope that's not the case. Something about where my beacon is might be screwing things up. Anyway, actually, what I could do is I could go ahead and deconstruct that beacon and at the very least put it here where it has a slightly... Here, I'll do it that way because the bottom stockpile is our highest priority. Um, and then make people have a priority 
deconstruct that. Once you finish, I'll make it a priority to construct the new one. You're still doing it? Oh, you're having a meal. Now, I'm in a chat. Why can't I, um, every now and again that happens. Why can't I prioritize this beacon? Ella, can you do it? No. Foreskin. Beacon. Huh. Is the boar skins in the way? Is it because Ella could haul some steel? Have you hauled all the steel from down there? I think you have. Ella, can you mine? Go ahead and mine me a little bit of steel then. I know, you got tons left to do. Get me a little steel going on again. And then you're now hauling it. Okay, good. Got a group of travelers I'm not too concerned about. Okay, now we technically have steel in the stockpile? No. I didn't drop the steel off. Oh yeah, there it is. Swallow, sorry to interrupt your sleep. There we go. Make sure we have a new trade beacon. I don't want to miss a trade opportunity. Okay, you brought the last bit of steel to it, but now actually build it. I don't want to miss a trade opportunity because I'm not sure. I know if we have a don't have a comms, we don't get told about it. It's possible if we didn't have the trade beacon, that would also cancel things out. Looks like all the bodies have been hauled, as far as I can tell. Is let's check Ella here. Yep, no bad debuffs. You're fine too. A little bit hungry, but nothing uh, to write home about. Giraffe, it would be really nice if you uh, if you finally converted. Drink the Kool Aid, buddy. A little bit hungry, but overall feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm really hoping we could um, recruit Giraffe before the end of this episode, but it looks like we're going to have to go and put a little bit of a cut in here and continue this next time. See you, folks. Thank you for watching. And uh, Erstville, or Town still stands. <laughs>